Hello, geometry students. Now we're on section 10.6, segments in a circle. We're going to be looking at today something about these segments that are created when two lines intersect a circle. The difference between today and before is we looked at the angles and how they related to the arcs. Today we're just going to look at the lengths of the segments. I'm going to give us some information about how to derive these formulas that we're going to look at. So I label these in a specific way just because I wanted to make it memorable. So we'll see how that works. But what we're going to be looking at is these segments inside a circle like AB or VA is a segment and VE is another segment. So when I want to derive these formulas, I'm going to first look at uh, similar triangles because Triangles are what we usually use to determine the properties of things. Um, so if I did draw in this line and this line, I might notice that I have two triangles here. And we've looked at these triangles before, and these two triangles happen to be similar. We know that we have vertical angles that are congruent. We also might notice that the, there's some other angles congruent. This arc right here is intercepted by two angles. And one of the angles is here that intercepts that arc. So this terminates at A and E. And so that angle and this angle over here at O also terminate at A and E. So those are congruent angles. So we can write a proportion for these. This segment right here corresponds to that segment right there. So we can say VI divided by VO. That's VI to VO. And then these two segments here correspond. So we could say that would be VA, VA over VE. We could use that to solve for a missing segment in here. However, it's usually more convenient to remember this formula in its cross product form. And that is if I multiply across this way and that way, I get two products. And that's called the circle product. That's the one we're going to be using. So in this way, I have VA times VO. VA times VO. And going the other way, I have VI times VE. And this is my circle product that we're going to be using. I call this Bavo Vive, which in Portuguese, which in Portuguese means grandma lives. That's our circle product. Now, I want you to know that this was also labeled in the same way. We have to know that line AO and IE are the two lines that intersect. So AO and IE in this case, and over here AO and IE intersect. Notice that the order around the circle isn't the same, A-E-O-I and A-O-E-I. So we have to be careful not just to label them anyway, but if we can label this segment A-O and this one I-E, they intersect at vertex V, same as this one, vertex V, then we can go ahead and derive the formula for this case as well. So if I do draw in this line segment and this line segment, I might notice that this angle right here, it terminates at A and I, so it's congruent to this angle right here that also terminates at A and I. So the two angles that intercept the same arc are congruent there. And the shared angle V is congruent too, so this creates two triangles that overlap here that are um, similar by AA. Okay, so we had the same thing here, they're similar by angle, angle, and here too. So let's go ahead and see what corresponds. I might look at um, this side. This is the short side of this triangle here. That corresponds with the short side of the other triangle. So that would be this one right here. So there's my um, scale factor proportion. I have VA over VI. And that would equal the uh, other corresponding side. So I have VA, which is part of the red triangle. Notice that that's VA. And then if I look at another side, this long side is VE. 
So I'm going to write VE here. And that would correspond with VO. That's the long segment here of the green triangle. So those correspond VO. So these are this is our proportion. If we cross multiply, I have VA times VO, VI times VE. It's valo vive again. Okay, so we have it. A same formula works for this case as well as that case. Now this one's going to be slightly different because notice that O isn't intercepting the circle. That's just a point like out here. We don't even know anything about that distance, but we're going to uh, write a formula here anyway. But when I do this, I could draw in these two segments right here. And this is a little bit harder to sort of see, but those are the, that's the shared angle. And we might notice we have a couple of congruent angles. This one right here, E, intercepts this arc AI. And so does this one at A, it intercepts that same arc AI. So those are our congruent angles. So VI of the red triangle corresponds to VA of the green triangle that goes this way. Okay, so these are just overlapping similar triangles. So now I'm going to write it. So VA, well, VI over VA is our scale factor from red, small red side to small green side. And then we could say that that equals the ratio of two other sides. So let's look at the red one. And in this case, we have. VA again um, is the long side of the red one. And we have the long side of the green one is VE. So when we cross multiply here, we have VA times VA equals VI times VE. So we have vava vive, which in Portuguese means go lives. Well, that's still, it's still vava vive. And we just don't use the O because O could be anywhere out there. This length doesn't really matter. The, all the relationship is between the points, the vertex and the points where it intersects the circle. These are our three properties. These are our formulas.